Hello, and welcome. Before we start, don't worry if your fingers hurt in the beginning. It's a common part of learning the guitar, but keep practicing. And not only will the pain go away, but you'll also start to see improvement in your first couple of months. Remember, mastering the guitar takes time and patience. Now that we got that out of the way, let's quickly go over the names of the guitar strings. From the thickest to the thinnest, they are E, A, D, G, B, and E. Now do you want to learn the top 10 beginner guitar chords? You're in the right place. Before we dive in, let's quickly touch upon a key aspect of chords between major and minor chords. Major chords generally have a bright sound, often feelings of joy and enthusiasm. On the other hand, minor chords tend to sound sad and melancholic, evoking feelings of sorrow and contemplation. Now, with that basic understanding, let's welcome you to a journey that will turn you from a guitar novice into a real strummer. This video is your golden ticket to understanding the basics of playing, specifically focusing on the 10 essential chords every beginner should know. Chords are the building of music, the heart and soul of every song you've ever loved. They are combinations of notes played simultaneously, creating a harmony that evoke tell stories and get your foot tapping. Master these, and you'll have the tools to play thousands of songs. We'll dive deep into each chord, explaining its formation and how to it. We'll also touch upon the famous 1-4-5 chord progression, a magic formula used in countless hits. So grab your guitar and let your fingers do the talking. Get ready to strum your way to guitar mastery with these 10 basic chords. First on our list is the E major chord a staple in many songs. To play this chord, you'll need to position your fingers in a particular way on the fretboard. Start by placing your index finger on the first fret of the third string. Next, your middle finger goes on the second fret of the fifth string, while your ring finger lands on the second fret of the fourth string. Strum all the strings together and there you have it. The rich, bright sound of the E major chord. This chord is a favorite among songwriters and can be heard in countless tunes. Think of songs like Horse With No Name by America or Wonderwall by Oasis. The E major chord lends a certain depth and fullness to these tracks that's hard to miss. Remember, the key to mastering this chord is practice. Keep strumming until the E major chord rings out smoothly from your guitar. Practice this chord until you can play it smoothly. Next up, we have the A major chord. This chord has a bright and open sound, often used to convey a sense of optimism in music. To play the A major chord, place your index, middle, and ring fingers on the second fret of the D, G, and B strings respectively. Make sure your thumb is resting comfortably on the back of the guitar's neck, applying enough pressure to let each note ring out clear and true. Now let's talk about the unique sound of the A major chord. It has a bright, cheerful tone that's perfect for upbeat pop songs and soulful blues tunes alike. You might recognize it from the Beatles classic A Hard Day's Night or Oasis's anthem Wonderwall. It's a versatile chord that you'll find in a multitude of genres and styles. As you continue your guitar journey, remember to practice this chord regularly. It's an essential part of any guitarist's toolkit. Remember, practice makes perfect. The third chord you should know is the D major chord. This chord is a favorite among many guitarists for its bright, clear sound. To play the D major chord, start by placing your index finger on the second fret of the G string, then put your middle finger on the second fret of the high E string. Finally, your ring finger goes to the third fret of the B string. Make sure to strum the top four strings only. Ah, the sound of the D major chord. It's vibrant full of life, and often used in a variety of songs. You'll find it in classics like Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond and Horse With No Name by America. It's a chord that can add a touch of brightness to any song, making it a must-know for any beginner guitarist. Keep practicing and you'll have this chord down in no time. Moving on, we have the G major chord. Often considered the gateway to the world of guitar chords, G major is a staple in countless songs. It's unique in its full, rich sound that can either be strummed or picked to create different effects. Now let's get our hands working. Start by placing your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string. Your index should be on the second fret of the A string, while your ring and pinky fingers are on the third fret of the B and high E strings respectively. When you strum all the strings together, that's your G major chord. Its distinctive sound can be heard in classics like Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses and Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. So if these are songs you're aiming to play, mastering the G major is an essential step. With practice, you'll be playing this chord like a pro. Next, we tackle the C major chord. 
Often described as the heart of the guitar, the C major chord packs a delightful punch. To play it, place your index finger on the first fret of the second string, your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string. Strum from the fifth string down, and there you have it. A beautifully resonant C major chord. Now let's talk about its unique sound. The C major chord has a happy, uplifting quality, making it a popular choice in a variety of music genres. Songs like Bad Moon Rising by Creedence Clearwater Revival or Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner beautifully highlight the versatility of this chord. So don't be discouraged if it feels a bit tricky at first. Practice makes perfect. Keep strumming, and soon this chord will be second nature. Now, let's quickly go over the other five beginner chords. First up, we have the A minor chord, a beautiful melancholic chord that adds depth to any song. To play the A minor chord, place your first two fingers on the second fret of the D and G strings, and your third finger on the first fret of the B string. Strum from the A string down and you've got it. Think of songs like House of the Rising Sun by The Animals for a classic example of a minor in action. Next, we have the E minor chord. This one is a breeze to play and is often the first chord beginners learn. Simply put your first two fingers on the second frets of the A and D strings and strum all six strings. This chord is used in countless songs, one of them being Zombie by the Cranberries. Our third chord is the D minor, another chord that brings a touch of sadness to your music. Place your first finger on the first fret of the high E string, your second finger on the second fret of the G string, and your third finger on the third fret of the B string. Then strum only the top four strings. Listen to The Scientist by Coldplay, and you'll hear the D minor chord at work. Next up is the B7 chord. This one has a bluesy feel to it. For B7, place your first finger on the first fret of the D string, your second finger on the second fret of the A string, your third finger on the second fret of the G string, and your pinky on the second fret of the high E string. Strum from the A string. A famous song that uses B7 is That's Alright Mama by Elvis Presley. Lastly, we have the F major chord. This one's a bit tricky, but it's worth mastering. Bar the first two strings at the first fret with your first finger, Put your second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third and fourth fingers on the third frets of the fourth and fifth strings. Strum all six strings. Hey Jude by the Beatles is a popular song that features the F major chord. Practice these chords until you can transition between them smoothly. Finally, let's talk about the 1-4-5 chord progression. This progression is one of the most commonly used sequences in popular music from blues to rock, pop to country, and everything in between. It's simple, catchy, and easy to play, making it a favorite among songwriters and musicians alike. So, what exactly is the 1-4-5 chord progression? In music theory, chords are often referred to by numbers rather than their letter names. These numbers correspond to their position in the key's scale. In the key of C major, for instance, C is the first note, so it's the 1, F is the fourth note, so it's the 4, and G is the fifth note, making it the 5. Therefore, a 1-4-5 chord progression in the key of C major would be CFG. Why is this progression so important, you may ask? Well, it's all about tension and resolution. The one chord is the home base, the starting point. The four chord adds a little tension, a sense of anticipation, and the five chord cranks up the tension even more. But when we return to the one chord, all that tension gets resolved, and it feels like coming home. This cycle of tension and resolution is what drives a lot of music, and it's one of the reasons why the 1-4-5 progression is so effective. Let's see how this works with the chords we've learned. Using E as our 1, A as our 4, and B as our 5, we can play a 1-4-5 progression in the key of E major. Start by strumming the E major chord, then switch to the A major, and finally the B major. Then go back to the E major to resolve the progression. Play around with this progression, experiment with different strumming patterns and rhythms. You'll soon realize that many of the songs you know and love are built around this simple chord sequence. Master this progression, and you'll expand your song repertoire significantly. That's it, folks! You've learned the top 10 beginner guitar chords. We kicked things off with the fundamental E major, followed by the versatile A major. We then moved on to the D major, the G major, and wrapped up the first half with the C major. Each of these chords forms the backbone of countless songs, and mastering them is your first step towards guitar greatness. We didn't stop there, though. We also explored five additional chords that will expand your playing range and bring more variety to your sound. And let's not forget the magic of the 1-4-5 chord progression. 
a staple in many genres of music. Remember, becoming proficient at guitar takes time and regular practice. Don't get if you don't get it right away. Patience and persistence will pay off. Keep practicing, stay motivated, and you'll be playing your favorite songs before you know it. And before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep strumming.